big rabbis in a generation that allows it, who am I to come and contradict them? I can't. But one thing I will tell you, and even those who are allowed the wigs, they never ever dream about the kind of wigs that women wear across the street here. They never dream that women will go that low. All these fancy long wigs, puffy, all kinds of hair, tons of perfume, high heels. Girls that got the best education, this is how you dress. Her father is a rebbe, and this is how she dress. What's going on here? So please, don't ever fall into that trap. When they ask her, why do you have such a wig? I want to be pretty to my husband. What the Torah said, I have to be pretty for your husband, is with limitation, without violating the rules of Hashem. Not everything is permitted. Yeah, it may make your husband like you a little more if you're going to do certain things, but that doesn't mean it's permitted. It's based on fake, it's based on a scene, something that comes to the world from a scene, from a lie, from a violation of the rules of Hashem, from making a Kadosh Baruch Hu angry, will never have a blessing. Remember this. You, always, you, you may have right now an immediate benefit fake. You may think it's good, it's working. Oh, I give my husband what he wants. No, 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 no. It's only now because the way of the satan is when a person makes a scene in the beginning to make it very sweet. And then comes the horrible bitter taste. In the beginning it tastes very good, just like the gum, you know, sugar free. It's very, very delicious for one minute. And after that you have bad taste in your mouth for an hour. Why? This is the way the fake world is. One father wanted to teach his son 